Today, how to share your Android screen with your computer screen and a technique that works with almost any modern Android phone. So I've been using a program called Screen Copy. It's spelled like this. Screen Copy is a really good tool for mirroring your Android device to your computer screen. I use it under Linux, but I believe it has a build for Mac and Windows also that'll work just fine. This technique does not require root on your phone. In fact, all you need to be able to do is to enable ADB debugging, which most phones, regardless of the manufacturer, sans Apple, of course, um, have that option available. So let's dive into it right now. Let's first find out ADB devices, if my device is set up which it is. And if you don't know how to do ADB, it's actually quite simple. I'll try to remember to put a link on how to set up ADB on most Android devices. So after we have the application installed and ADB is set up and our device has gotten the clear, the go ahead, it's just a matter of taking a peek at the help file because I'm not gonna jump right into it just yet. I wanna talk about a few little things in the switches here that make it awesome. So a very important switch is the dash T. That shows the touches. It shows like a little white circular when you're touching the phone. That way you can turn your screen or share it over uh, Skype or something like that and be able to see where you're touching. Uh, dash capital S, that turns the screen off. This is very useful if you just need to use it on your computer desktop and you wanna preserve that delicious battery because the voltage from your laptop may not be enough to keep the screen on and keep the battery full. You can actually record the file. It actually dumps the file. The file's technically, I believe, is being generated by your phone's hardware encoder. That's why it takes up almost no CPU usage. And then we have our shortcuts. Control F, obviously, very important. Full screen, this sucker. Control B is your backspace because you gotta keep in mind the on-screen functions may not be available on your device. For example, mine has hardware buttons. So you have Control S, which is your app switcher. Control M is your menu. Control Up, Control Down, it's volume. Control P turns the screen on and off. Very useful. One of my favorites here is Control R. Where did I say that one? There we go. Rotate the screen device. And we're gonna kind of show some of this, these going here. So I'm gonna start with T because you need to see the touches. That's what the touches look like. So you can see what I'm doing. You can see how I'm operating the device. Um, another one, of course, we have our control R, which will rotate. Rotates pretty good, works as expected, and goes pretty good, especially if you want to do some game streaming, control F, which makes this a full screen application. Uh, app switcher, control S, I don't have any apps running. Control B, I don't have anything there for backing but uh, I can control O and you can't see it here, but the screen on my phone has been turned off. I think if I control P, it turns it back on. Nope, that just turns that back on. <laughs> Fingerprint reader and we're back in action. So I hope this guide helps. Um, sharing your screen, like this is great for sharing over like Skype. If you're doing web develop work, I do a lot of web develop work where I need to share what I'm working on a mobile interface and a desktop interface at the same time with my partners over the Skype or whatever. Um, so it's great. Uh, it's a good little tool and it's very useful. All right, guys, that's it for now. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.